Okay, I may talk about some things that you may not want to hear, but I think some people are really suffering from this. So, my message is going to be about sexual topics in a Christian way, not nothing vulgar or anything like that, I don't think. You may want to stop sinning sexually, but you may say to me, Uncle Kev, I have a very high sex drive. Is it really you? You may have opened the door for demons to mess with you, but is it really you that have a very high sex drive? Look now, are you married? And how is your sex drive with your wife? Is it very low for your wife, but very high for other random women? Or if you are the wife, is your sex drive very very low for your husband but very high for other men okay now i think it is not so much you i think in many cases it is not you that have a very high sex drive to commit sexual sins. I think it is demons messing with you in some type of way to where it makes you want to sin. And you may say, how is that possible? Well, I believe demons can place thoughts into our mind. So how is that possible? I think demons can tempt us and do things to our bodies that we don't want done. So I think it is not you with the very high sex drive. I think it is a demon or demons messing with you. Myself, in the past, I was a very sexual person and I used to do things for a certain reason, not so much that I wanted to be sexual at that time, but because I had a thinking because I wanted to do this or that. So many of the times I did things not so much because I was turned on, but because of whatever reasons. And I believe because I kept on engaging in that, I want to tell you something. Around that time, I was really, really sexual and I was really, 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 really mean. Really mean. There came a time 
I think this was back in 2007. I think it was when I was going, I may have been walking on the street going to like a club or something. I believe I felt like, I guess it was like a ball of cold energy, like right in my chest, like right around this area. And I believe I knew that it was something that was not part of me as if it was, I believe I could tell that it was like a demon or something like that. Like, I believe I knew that it was like a, something that was not originally part of me. And even then, back then, I was so wicked to where I was accepting of it. Okay. And I engaged in wrong things for so long. So when I wanted to change, it was so hard. Like, it came a time to where I did not want to engage in sex, masturbation, and stuff like that. But there were times to where as if something would like push me toward it. Like, and much of the time or some of the time, I would fight and fight and fight and many times I gave in. Okay, let's fast forward. Now, I am not sexual, not in a bit. But sometimes I believe it feels like something is trying to overwhelm me with sexual urges, like as if I am dipped in a water of sexual urges, as if like I am holding on by a thread. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? Sometimes I have dreams of sex and stuff like that. Unwanted, unwanted dreams. I am not a sexual person. I think some of the time, like my, my, my mind, like my own thoughts, I don't focus on sex stuff. But there are times as if like in Invader or something, like push, I guess, unwanted thoughts into my mind. Like weird thoughts, like I would say like another personality. Like there is a way I think and there is another way someone else thinks. It's like something is trying to push their view upon me. Do you, man, do you understand what I am trying to tell you? So is it me with the high sex drive? I am praying against it. There are times when there are, I guess I can say times of peace to where 
I believe it is a demon to where that demon or demons stop messing with me. So if it was me with the high sex drive, why not have it high the majority of the time? If it was something that was of me, why not have it regularly? How come if it is me with the high sex drive, I think many other time when I say something like sexual demons or demons, whatever, I bind and cast you out. How come sometimes within minutes or so, those sexual urges die down or go away? So is it me with the high sex drive? I think not. Is it you with the high sex drive? I think not. If it is against your will to sin sexually, if it feels like, like you want to resist, but you can't, is it you with the high sex drive? Do you feel like you are being led down a, a road? Is it you with the high sex drive? I don't think so. So you may say, okay, Kevin, it is not me with the high sex drive. What can I do, Uncle Kev? Well, you may have to fast. You may have to fast one day, two days, three days, maybe a whole week. Try, you know, if you think you can't fast for 24 hours, try 10 hours. Try 8 hours at a time. 2 hours at a time. Well, 2 hours is really short. Try doing, hey, if you can, try 3 days in a row without eating anything. Do it all at one time, if you understand what I am trying to tell you. Or try 12 hours a day. Read the Bible. But ultimately, you have to resist. And I think the more you resist, <laughs> man, I believe the more you resist, I think the demons will try different tactics. And you may say, why do you believe that is? Well, in my personal life, I have experienced. There was a time, there was a time I had a dream and I am not trying to scare you or anything like that but I was on a stone table. Now this happened, I forget when, maybe two, three years ago, but I was on a stone table and I don't think I could move. And I looked up <laughs> and if I remember correctly, I saw this demon with a huge, I believe the demon had a huge head. Like, can I say a female demon? Like a huge head. I did not see the whole body, but I believe I saw the huge head like a beast-like head, I believe. I think it was gray. And... When I looked up, I believe the demon had a smile on his face and I could not stop that demon. I believe what that demon did, I forget how everything was, but I believe that demon put 
somehow that big demon, I imagine that demon was big, somehow that demon was able to put two fingers in my mouth and did some other stuff to me that was sexual. Isn't that like, I don't think you can call that rape or what, like, what is that called being touched like that without your consent? What is that called? But when I woke up, I think I was really disturbed. I think I was really, really disturbed. And I believe I could tell you other experiences I had that was disturbing. But it was me, I believe, in my past that opened the door for all of that. You know, I did things that was wrong. You know, I knew that fornication and all that stuff like that was wrong, but I still chose to do it. But I believe I have gone through some really disturbing things. If you stop masturbating, engaging in fornication, adultery and stuff like that, I believe demons will do other things to mess with you, which I believe they have done to me. And I have prayed many times about it, about the stuff I go through, and maybe God is teaching me a lesson. But I truly regret what I did in my past. But anyways, I truly regret it, the bad things. But anyways, I don't think it is you with the high sex drive. I think it is demons. And when you begin to resist, they may begin or more mess with your dreams. I don't think much of you all would believe how many times I am messed with in my dreams. My Lord. So, I believe now you know that it is probably not your sex drive. So what should you do? Ultimately, I believe we all have to resist. Let's say you try to resist and you fall into sin and you continue to fall into the same type of sin. That was me too at one point. Sometimes I gave up, but after a while, I kept on trying. Listen now. Continue to try to do what is right, no matter how many times you fail. Because I think you will get to the point to where you will sin less, in less, and less. And you may have to engage in more spiritual warfare, which I believe I do. And you may be disturbed by certain things that may happen to you, which happens to me at times. So never give up. Be like Uncle Kev now and never give up. Because I think when you give up, you have failed. Even if you sin, but if you choose to not give up, I believe you have not failed. So messing up to me, in my eyes, 
It's not failing as long as you what? Continue on in God. But to me, you have failed if you give up. So, if this applies to you, continue to try to do what is right no matter the opposition. Because I believe you have so much to gain and so much to lose. I don't have a high sex drive to do evil. I don't believe you have a high sex drive to do evil. Now, I believe if we get married, we should have a normal sex drive for our wives and husbands. But I think that out of control sex drive to fornicate, masturbate, or do evil things is not of God, and I believe it is of demons. So try not to give into it. I believe demons can place thoughts into our mind, and I think some demons try to make you believe their thoughts that I believe they are placing in your mind is coming from you. So if they can do that with thoughts, can't they do that with that sex stuff too? I believe so. Don't give into it. Let me stop here. God bless you.